On this episode of Franchise TV, we bring you the much-awaited Franchise Asia 2011. A culmination of years of preparation, Franchise Asia was an international franchise conference, an international franchise expo, and educational sessions and seminars that gave a loud and clear message. The Philippines has now opened its doors to the global franchising community. We started with the U.S. In Europe, we have France, Italy, Germany, Czech Republic, and the big countries in Europe. And then in Asia, they're almost complete with Malaysia, Indonesia, Hong Kong, China, Korea, Japan and Singapore. This is the second time. It was a decade ago when we had Franchise Asia 2001. And it was very memorable because it was one day after the 9-11. So there were really a lot of memories fun and also memories on 9-11. But we would like to say that was a big su success and it has opened franchising path. That is why franchising has grown here. We believe with Franchise Asia 2011, it will further bring franchising to the next level. We hope to be the franchise hub in Asia. We have 500 groups and we have more than 500 brands because just the Bistro Group alone, they are going to launch uh, the Korean barbecue, Korean Yes, and other new concepts that are not yet in the market. We are looking forward to new foreign concepts that will be launched in the near future, maybe in 2012. We all know that our own local brands are also acquiring other brands. Stories of Jollibee's success and 7-Eleven International thrill the audience. Oh, of course! none other than the Jollibee Group. He just has presented the latest acquisitions being in Vietnam. He has there uh, the Pool 24 and also Highlands Coffee. He's part of that now. And the Hard Rock in Vietnam. For a Filipino company tying up overseas in China, in the US, in other countries, I think that's something that we must be proud of. Of course, we have the Pancake House Group who just acquired Yellow Cab recently. We have the Maxis Group, who uh, acquired Krispy Kreme, and also coming up with Jamba Juice soon. And we have Goldilocks, who just acquired Domino's Pizza. So our homegrown are acquiring more brands, maybe homegrown or foreign, and we believe this is already the start of the robust growth of franchising in the Philippines. There's also a foundation of suppliers getting together. We call it team merchandising, where together, you know, the power of 7-Eleven knowing the customer is very powerful. But if you get 20 big vendors in a market all thinking about what product can, is conducive to sell in 7-Eleven to the 7-Eleven consumer, they also know what's popular in the country. So the team merchandising helps to develop new products. Finally, I got to chat with other experts and delegates. I caught up with World Franchise Council Chairman, Mr. Sammy Lim. Sir Sammy, the past few days, World Franchise Council and the Asia Pacific Franchise Council have been having international meetings. Could you clue us in on what's happening? Well, I think the most important output is what you call the Manila Declaration. It's a joint communique that we'll be signing in a few, uh, in a couple of hours from now. We all agree that franchising is a real tool for economic and social development and it can create literally thousands of business and hundreds of millions of jobs and the world economy uh, is not really in very good shape and we believe franchising is the cure. Now bring it home here, Franchise Asia 2011, who are on board? Who are the big companies, the organizations, the brands? We are so lucky, I don't know, it's a matter of uh, you know uh, the world economy. Uh, America, Europe are having some economic problems and difficulties, so they are finding it difficult to expand in that uh, continent. So we are very happy. We have more than 30 countries who came uh, here to see uh, really if we are open for business. Mm -hmm. And I think in the last three days we have shown them that Philippines is really ready for them. And to mention not the usual uh, countries, we are very happy 
uh, from Brazil to Russia to Indonesia to China, which are the four countries everybody wants to invest in the last five years. And they're, they're coming all here. here. They're right now here. There's a whole delegation of 12 people from uh, Russia, uh, from uh, Taiwan, from China. I think there are at least 35 people and they're here. As a matter of fact, they're shopping, looking around the mall to see where they can locate their franchise. In addition, uh, this show is different from all the other previous shows 16 years ago <laughs> because this show we have 100 foreign brands looking for local partners. They're looking for what we call master franchisee. Somebody holds the franchise for the whole country. So this is now an uh, opportunity for even the millionaires and the billionaires to buy franchises. And that just means that economically speaking, it's going to be good news for right. the Philippines. Definitely. The investment is coming in. We project about 50 billion peso investment for these next few days. Wow, that's something to look forward to. That's why I come over. We only have the Sunday. That's right. For Franchise Asia. Well, Sir Sammy, okay, you, you so have much. been very, very busy well, and obviously you. successful yeah. at all your endeavors. Thank more, you. more success to you, thank Sir you, Sammy. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you. It was a thrill to meet them and learn a thing or two from the world's franchising mavens in attendance. There's no question that the Philippines is, is, is so close to the United States in so many ways. From a language standpoint, you know, I've been here now for a few days. I've had a wonderful time in your country. And it, it's obvious some of the successes of our U.S. brands because I think the commonalities that we have with the Philippines, that our, our U.S. brands are so successful in this country. Then again, you have some wonderful brands as well, Yourself. Jolly, you know, Jolly, Jolly B. B. I mean, so it's and to listen to to its president, uh, just a wonderful organization. Yeah, we already discussed with uh, some Philippines brands, and uh, I think we in the will be in position to promote the Philippine brands on the Russian market. The Russian market is now uh, maybe the best growing ma market for franchising around the world. Oh, well, I'm totally impressed by Franchise Asia 2011. Uh, it shows me just how much interest there is, how much knowledge, how much enthusiasm, and it's this kind of gathering which really inspires the confidence that is behind successful business. My takeaway is the dynamics of the Philippines markets, of the Philippines Association, and uh, the way they have created new concepts and modern concepts that can be exported all over the world. And I think this is a good thing for the Philippines too, wow. and for the other part of the world. That's just a few of the international delegates at Franchise Asia 2011. It was a truly unique global experience and something worth aspiring for. The best global and local homegrown franchises are up next as we take you on a tour of the Franchise Asia 2011 Expo.